What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Just a quick one today. We're just fresh off a stream, so I'll keep this short and sweet for the player of the week. We will be streaming as well tomorrow when we'll be back with some of eFootball. We had a UFL today. I'll have a video up on UFL. I'll let you know my thoughts, but we'll be back on eFootball on Friday as well. This is the brand new player of the week. It's just a one individual player of the week. We don't have the European one till next week. So it's every two weeks we get the player of the week for Europeans, for the Champions League and Europa, mostly the Champions League. But this is the Worldwide Player of the Week, November 28. You've got Saka, Valverde and Correa. They're going to headline it with the three skills. Double touch on Saka, full first time shot on Valverde, even though he's a right back, and true passing on Correa as well. So this is the full selection. You've got Enzo Fernandez in there. And as we kind of said for a while, right, we know that they've kind of been reducing down the cards, right? I'm actually going to hide my cam here just a second. They've been reducing down the cards quite a bit. So for example, Enzo Fernandez is literally going to be like just an average kind of center midfielder box to box. He's not going to be any better or any worse than any other version of him in the game. It's just like an instant upgrade to your squad that you don't need to worry about training or whatever. The only one on this that I would be interested in getting is probably David De Gea and this Valverde. So you guys know my opinion on Valverde. He's probably one of my top 10 players in the game across any profile. The player of the week one before for the Champions League. I don't think that this card is going to be as good, but he's definitely a beast as well. He's not down as the booster though. The booster is Saka, Madison, and of course we do have Correa here at the back as well. This guy is definitely potential to be kind of like that center forward that is quite nimble, even though he's a big man because he's quite light. So 188 centimeters, 77 kg, technique plus three, and he's got double touch as well as uh, one touch pass, first time shot, super sub, a nice super sub, and also quite decent on the ground. Not so much in the air, but lovely passing. Can play AMF, left wing, right wing, SS, CF, left wing, it doesn't make a difference. Inconsistent form is going to be a bit of an issue if they change that in 4.2. But the rest of it is fine. There's no player higher than 96. Saka is the best here. It's just a standard Saka card that can play left or right. The only place he can't play is through the middle. Um, it's a decent card. I like Saka. I've never really played with him that much. But he does have the ball roll or the advanced double touch. With double touch flip flop and soul control. He's track back and one touch pass. He's got pinpoint crossing. It's quite a disappointing player of the week lads. I'm going to be honest with you. Madison is there as well. There are his stats as well. If you haven't boosted up the game. That's his booster. Striker's instinct, double touch, first time shot, one touch pass. Of course, they had a huge win against City the other day with Madison scoring. Varaldo is a centre back. Don't know much about this guy, but he goes to nearly 90 in all the main stats and 80 plus speed. And I do think that Cham, this guy here, is pretty decent as well as a youngster. He's only 24. Very nice player, but there's just so many. He doesn't look anything like his uh, player card. But anyway, there's a lot of players now that are bringing in a super sub, right? Leon Goretzka. Uh, again, another player. This guy, I mean, he's definitely one to watch into the future. He's actually got an appearance as well. The Frenchman, he's a whole player. He can play at AMF or right mid. Very decent card as well. Good dribbling, good pace, but balance and tight possession. Well, tight possession is okay, but balance is quite low for a card like this. I do like Goretzka. It's nice to see him back in action as well. There was a couple of players that could have featured here, but I do think Goretzka being back, it's, it's an okay card. He goes to a 96 overall with a manager. At this stage, lads, the player of the weeks are not going to change the dial too much for you. Valverde is a right back. You can play him as a CMF or a right winger. Really nice for sub tactics if you're looking to change it up a little bit and do something a bit different. But I do feel that there are better versions of him there. Kicking power is huge and his speed and acceleration will probably like manipulate this card's true rating a little bit because he does have 90 aggression with, with a good manager, but his balance is quite poor compared to other cards, right? And also... I just think Valverde's better suited as a right back or as a centre mid. You know, attacking full back's not a great play style on him. Uh, we also have De Gea. I'd like to get De Gea, but he's only average. 90 plus awareness and reflexes and reach would be nice, but he's only going to be average. But it's nice to get him because it might be one of the last Abbott De Gea cards. So that's pretty much it, lads. We also have our destroyer centre back. Good speed, good defence, pretty decent as well. The Croatia man, he's got blocker as well. But yeah, these player of the weeks, they're probably a skip this week, but let me know what you guys think. And we'll talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.